reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. Thus says the Lord, this is what I command my people. Listen to my voice, then I will be your God and you will be my people. Walk in the ways that I command you so that you may prosper. But they obeyed not, nor did they pay heed. They walked in the hardness of their evil hearts and turned their backs, not their faces, to me. From the day that your fathers left the land of Egypt, even to this day, I have sent you untiringly all my servants, the prophets, yet they not, have not obeyed me or, nor heed them. They have stiffened their necks and done worse than their fathers. When you speak all these words to them, they will not listen to you either. When you call to them, they will not answer. Say to them, this is the nation that does not listen to the voice of the Lord. It's God, or take correction. Faithfulness has disappeared. The word itself is banished from their speech. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial, if today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us joyfully sing psalms to him. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, let us bow down in worship. Let us kneel before the Lord who made us, for he is our God, and we are the people he shepherds, the flock he guides. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Oh, that today you would hear his voice, harden not your hearts as at Meribah, as in the day of Massa in the desert, when your father tempted me, they tested me, though they had seen my works. If today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Even now, says the Lord, return to me with your whole heart, for I am gracious and merciful. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Good morning. It is Thursday, March 24th, and the gospel today is Luke. Jesus was driving out a demon that was mute. When the demon had gone out, the mute man spoke. The crowds were amazed. Some of them said, by the power of Beelzebub, the prince of demons, he drives out demons. Others, to test him, asked him for a sign from heaven. But he knew their thoughts. He said to them, every kingdom divided against itself will be laid waste. The house will fall against house. If Satan is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? For you say that it is by Beelzebub that I drive out demons. If I then drive out demons by Beelzebub, by whom do your own people drive them out? Therefore, they will be your judges. But if it is by the finger of God that I drive out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. When a strong man, fully armed, guards his palace, his possessions are safe. But when, when stronger than he attacks and overcomes him, he takes away the armor on which he has relied and distributes the spoils. Whoever is not with me is against me. Whoever does not gather with me scatters. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus is probably a little angry here. These people are looking at him saying, oh, you drive out demons. The chances are there's one inside of you that's enabling you to do this. Imagine how angry he must have been because it's a kind of a very angry story he tells them. He lets them know and says to them, by, by whom do your people drive out demons? If it is, if it is, if it is truly by, um, you know, by God, then the, finger, then the finger of God has come upon you. He's letting them know, I am, 
I am from God. I am here. I am the one who is doing this. The power of God is working through me, and the reign of God has come upon you. They're trying to, to toy with him. They're, they're trying to, um, in a way, show their total lack of appreciation for what he's doing. And I think Jesus had quite enough of them. And so he tells them that particular parable uh, in terms of be careful what you wish for. Be careful that you don't defame the kingdom of God that is present before you in myself because then something worse may come upon you. So, um, and he says, you know, by whom do your people drive out demons? Well, they probably weren't driving out any demons at all. So he really comes after them because of their lack of faith. This happens in other places too. Remember when he goes to his native village and they, they think he's just too full of himself? Um, Jesus, um, I'm sure, cured people and did what he, he needed to do with those people, but a lot of them couldn't come along. A lot of them were, were jealous and angry and you, you never know what kind of emotions people have, even when you're doing good for them. And that's where Jesus found himself. But he lets them know that the kingdom of God is upon you, so be careful, reform your lives. And here we are in Lent, all of us following that directive ourselves. Take care, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow. Now, my friends, as we have shared the word of God together, I invite you to spend time with me in front of the Blessed Sacrament as we share our spiritual prayer of communion. Friends, we now invite you to spend some time in adoration before the Blessed Sacrament in the Tabernacle. We usually uh, follow up my reflections and my, um, my gospel reflections with this time. And uh, so often I will say to you, uh, pray and reflect on a psalm or on some of the words of the gospel, something Jesus says or a parable. This is a great time to do that. And so join me now as we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And my friends, as you spend time before the Lord, may he bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Enjoy these moments of private prayer and reflection.